actually spend most of my youth uh, in the Adirondacks. I love the Adirondacks. I've traveled a lot, and, uh, but I have found that there's, this is a special place. I'm Paul Hay, I'm the Associate Director, and so my responsibilities include organizing and leading the Education and Outreach Program, and I've been working here at the Newcomb Campus since 2003. So student experiences at the Newcomb campus are, we believe, one of the strongest foundations for emerging professionals because you have an opportunity to put your classroom learning into practice. This interdisciplinary experience enables students to integrate everything they've learned in the sciences, in the art classroom, and in the English classroom, and applying it to the beauty of the area. What attracted me to the residency was the opportunity to be here in an environment with other people who recognized uh, the value of art, actually, in uh, the preservation of the natural world. This experience has made an enormous change in their social life. Just interacting, you see students that would never voluntarily respond to a question, but here they become so close. Just that one-on-one -on -one experience without technology, without the television, they're able to share in, in an environment that really welcomes this open exposure as to who they are as individuals and to learn from each other. I think it allows the students to see a much bigger picture. And instead of trying to learn something in isolation, they can understand the connections between topics. The organization of biological field stations, of which we are a member, is working now to rebuild the bridge that has always existed between art and science. Part of that rebuilding includes literally bringing arts and science together. Being around the scientists who look at the world in a different way comes to inform my own work. When it was brought up that maybe I could come here and do a residency, I thought this is just the perfect place for it because I combine my poetry with nature and learning about nature and delving deeper if I can. And what is happening here at Newcomb campus is, you know, that important connecting of those two elements. So coming here, this whole idea of the overnight experience, the whole idea of them having to put their phones away except maybe to take pictures. They're working together as a team to a much deeper level than they would in the classroom. And there's a lot of time for kind of contemplative thinking and kind of observing things out in nature, but also, you know, there's things that move quick. We got a lot of, we have a lot of schools come through here and a lot of programs and it's, it's a lot of fun. There aren't many other field campuses in the SUNY system, and so to a great degree we consider ourselves not just ESF's field station, but really SUNY's field station, or even New York's field station. Everyone here is so receptive to your specific requirements, needs, and um, desires for what you want your students to learn here. It's doable, and the reward is instrumental. It's just incredible. You can't put a Anybody who calls uh, him or herself an artist or philosopher could find this a very compelling and transformative experience. The ESF campus in Newcomb is a wonderful area to see where we came from as humans and to commune with the environment. So many of us are so ready to text. The second we receive a text message, we're like, oh, we have to respond immediately. Here, just a spell, just sit for one minute and listen. And you realize this is our journey back home. <laughs>